Hey everyone, it's your girl Nicole here. Um, it is November 11th and this is my second video diary of um, my road to recovery. I am um, actually an update. I went to the doctor on November 5th, sports doctor, and um, I wasn't given an actual diagnosis. I was given um, kind of a, a guesstimate or kind of based upon his assessment. Um, the diagnosis is a, a, a torn or strained um, posterior tibial tendon or a um, fracture in the navicular bone that the, the tendon feeds into. So either way, I'm probably going to have to have that stupid boot on and um, probably wear that for the next eight weeks or so, just kind of depending on what um, the MRI findings show. So I have an MRI scheduled for Thursday the 15th which I'm claustrophobic and I'm freaking out about. Um, so 25 minutes in a closed, enclosed space with lots of noise is not my idea of fun at all. But anyway, I'm gonna be a big girl. I'm going to have the MRI so at least I can have a better diagnosis so they can see what all is going on with that ankle. I'm really wondering if my issues are related to the Nike shoes that I bought. Um, I've never had really any issues with my ankles until I purchased the Nike Free 4.0 version 2 running shoe. It's a phenomenal looking shoe. It's very lightweight, um, but but I started having some issues with my ankle, and um, I just I kind of play, put it off and kept training, and then it got worse, and I bought a, a nice bandage and kept training with that. But, um, and then I, I went to, I couldn't go anymore. So now I'm kind of having issues with my left ankle as well. So I'm really wondering if it's the structure of the shoe that's causing my ankle pain. Um, I wrote Nike and um, I'm hoping to possibly see a response. I looked at some reviews of the shoe online and there were some other um, female runners who experienced some pain in their feet too due to the Nike Free. So. If you're going to buy the shoe, definitely do your research before you buy it. Um, definitely don't want you to experience some of the same things that I'm having. Not certain that it's related to the shoe, but kind of suspicious that never had any ankle issues before. One ankle's jacked up and the other one is on its way. So definitely beware. Um, I've still been training, uh, do the, doing the best that I can. I've used... Um, I don't know what that machine is called. I think on the machine it says the torso. So it's the, the bike that you use with your hands. That's how I can best describe it. A, um, a person very close to me suggested that I try that as a form of cardio and I actually got a good burn from it. Not only that, it's great for your upper body. I can definitely feel it through my shoulders and my abs and my triceps and my biceps and chest and back. So. Wow, I never thought to look at that machine twice, but um, it's actually a great workout. I get a burn and I get um, a great muscle um, muscle burn as well. So tried that, still uh, weight training, and my upper body is looking great still. Still doing what I can with my lower body. I do some single leg squats, um, lunges that I can um, restrict my right ankle with. And then I also tried some basic restrictive movements for my quads with the Smith machine. So I'm trying to find alternative ways of training all of my muscle groups without putting any stress on that ankle. So sometimes things are a blessing in disguise and when you have limitations and you are forced to think out of the box, um, it's amazing how creative you can be. So trying to um, find some positives out of something that is so um, mentally and physically stressful. And it is mentally stressful when you're used to training a certain way or you're used to a certain lifestyle. For me, I was training once, twice a day. And to be forced to train once a day, sometimes every other day, based upon how my ankle feels, is it's mentally challenging. Um, it affects your mood. I'm not able to get the same cardio that I'm used to, so not, not the same endorphins that are running through my body. So going through some very um, mentally and physically challenging adjustments. Um, but I wholeheartedly believe that everything happens for a reason. I'm forced to, like I said, think out of the box, forced to be creative, um, and also forced to do some other things that I probably wouldn't have thought of, working on some of my projects. Um, fighter fitness for one, um, 
which I'm developing, uh, which is a fighter intense program for women. Also working on my book that I've been working on for a while, a fitness guide, and um, some other projects. So uh, it's a blessing in disguise. It's a frustrating blessing, but definitely a blessing in disguise. So I will follow up with everyone after my MRI, and I have a follow-up appointment on the 19th with the orthopedic doctor, and um, I should have some definite answers as to how long I'll be out, what my next moves are, and when I will start training for 2013 to rock that stage. So everyone keep training hard and keep checking back in with me. Um, it's going to be a challenging journey, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. So everyone have a great week.